Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, this paper is disingenuous from the beginning to the end, Mr. Mayor. The principles of moving back to a committee system was originally based on preventing the situation the whole council found itself in, initially under former councillor Chris Williamson and more recently, councillor Ranjit Banwait. The cabinet system was abused and there was very little all of those outside of the cabinet could do about it. That included, Mr. Mayor, members of the Labour group, some of whom were also frustrated by these two councillors. Mr. Mayor, we need to end political agendas. Despite hard work and the best efforts of staff across the council under Labour, Derby City Council was broken and had become dysfunctional. We need to approach every decision by remembering that we are public servants elected to deliver what is best for our city. We need to deliver fundamental change. The cabinet system significantly contributed to, to create a dysfunctional organization with the loss of key members of staff and a breakdown in public confidence, not only in this council, but in all local councillors. The lead and cabinet approach is to governance is no longer fit for purpose. A new committee system will give all councillors, regardless of political party, a greater say in the council's priorities. Crucially, this will allow formal engage engagement with partners across the city and to the public to ensure they are part of the decision-making process. It would deliver a new era of openness, transparency, and bring about meaningful engagement with the members of the public. Mr. Mayor, those words are part of the Derby Conservative Party manifesto under the leadership of Councillor Matthew Holmes, a manifesto that all Conservative councillors signed up to, especially those that were elected in 2018. Mr. Mayor, they are Councillor Webb, Councillor Cooper, Councillor McChrystal, Councillor Adrian Pegg, Councillor Alison Holmes, Councillor Barker himself, Councillor Poulter, and also Councillor Patterson stood on that platform in Darley. In terms of transparency, and so the public can understand, I would think, like, I, would think I would like to understand if these councillors agree with this sudden change of heart. So important was this issue that it took up two pages of their 11-page manifesto. I would remind members of the council, and this is the manifesto if anybody wants it, that the structure that allowed Ranjit to decimate Derby City Council's reputation is still intact. That very same reputation is again being challenged, and people will ask why. Is it the power-hungry cabinet members that have tasted the power of cabinet and now don't want to change despite a promise they made to the people of this city? Or is it the money, the special responsibility allowances that turns your heads? Probably a mixture of both. I started saying this paper was disingenuous, Mr. Mayor. It is disingenuous on the grounds that no senior councillor has taken responsibility for the report suggesting that it is all officers that have come to that conclusion. We all know that if cabinet members can influence a recommendation, then they would, and they haven't. Council leader, Councillor Poulter, has said he has offered his group a free vote, revealing his lack of integrity on this subject. He is now risking having a reputation akin to the former Councillor Banwait. I, now, I know over the last two years, he has indicated that there are no agreements with my group and his. However, I have this document signed on the 22nd of May 2019, and I had a similar one in May 2018 by myself and Christopher Poulter, headed agreement between the Conservative group and the UKIP group, and the very first line says, the parties agree to committing the council to a committee system from a cabinet system by January 2020. That line commits my group and his group to moving to a committee system. Apparently, some of his own councillors weren't aware of this document. Sounds like a rangitism to me. You may recall the line in their manifesto, a new era of openness and transparency. It's also in line with his own party's manifesto of 2018. This document here, a manifesto he was elected on. 
to even offer a free vote to his group and now to vote against moving to a committee system breaks this agreement and his own manifesto commitments.